Let me show you how to implement an unbreakable encryption tool in C today. And we're going to implement the so-called one-time pad. The one-time pad is the only encryption mechanism that is uncrackable even in theory. There is no way to crack a file encrypted with a one-time pad. How that works is that we supply a key to a file that is the same size as the file to be encrypted. Contrast that with traditional encryption methods where we supply a password for encryption and that password has a limited size. And therefore only also a limited well, effectiveness. But the one-time pad has the same size of the to be encrypted file and therefore the output file, the encrypted file, is completely random and we have no way to find out the secret. So let's implement it. We're going to implement two tools today. One is going to be an encryption tool and one is for, and the other one is going to be for decryption. Both are very simple to implement. So this is a beginner friendly tutorial. We're going to include two libraries in the standard io.h and standard lib.h. And we're going to create a main method that takes in arguments. The first input argument that we're taking in is going to be the file that we want to encrypt. We can read this first argument by accessing the argv input array. And now that we know the name of the file that we want to encrypt, we can access it through a file pointer. And we can create such a file pointer by opening the file name using fopen. We only need to access the file via read or with read permissions, we don't need to write to the file. So we can call fopen, provide the secret file name and then specify that we want to read the file only. Since we're going to output an encrypted file, that's going to be a different file. Well, similarly, we have to open up streams to an output file. And here we have to specify write permissions since we're writing to that file. And also we're going to specify a key file that's going to be output. And also here we have to specify write permissions. Now as a next step, it would make sense to implement the encryption in a new method that we can call from here, encrypt. And we're going to encrypt the secret file and we're going to write an encrypted file and a key file. So we can pass all the handles or all the pointers into the encrypt method. And next we will have to declare and implement the encrypt method up here. And it's going to take as input the secret file, the encrypted file and the key file. Now that the method signature stands, we have to somehow implement it. And to do that, we will read the secret file that we want to encrypt using the fget character method. So we can loop over the input characters from the secret file. Then we have to check that the red character is not the end of file because then we would have reached the end of the file and we can stop the iteration and inside that loop so while we're reading characters into c we can now generate keys that we will use to 
encrypt the individual characters from the input secret. And that key will be completely random, so we use the random function. And then we will declare a new variable called encrypted C. That is the encrypted character that we will, will write to the encrypted file. And the encrypted character will be C and it will be XORed by the key. And that is how we encrypt the data. Now, what makes this so powerful is that we, for each and every single integer that we read in from the input file, from the secret file, we generate its own key. So this way, it is impossible to find out a common key for the entire file, and therefore it's impossible to break the encryption. Now, of course, we have to somehow store that key along with the encrypted file, and that's why we will write the data into a key file that is exported, and we will write the encrypted data into an encrypted file. We can write the data using the fputc method, and we will first write a key file. The key file will receive the key data, and then we will also write the encrypted file that will in receive the encrypted characters. Let me just check that with my linter. But so far the implementation looks good. So the encryption algorithm stands and after we have encrypted the files, or the file and written the encryption key, we can close all the file handles using fclose. So we're going to close the secret file. We're going to close the encrypted file. And we're going to close the key file. And this should be it. Now let's try to compile this implementation. The compilation worked. Now we have a directory which contains the source file and the binary of our encryption tool. Now for demonstration, I will create a file called secret. And the secret will contain the text, this is my secret, please don't expose me. If you ever read this, you know the secret. So this is my secret text that I don't want anybody to find out. Now the directory contains a new file called secret and we're going to encode that secret. Now to refresh our memory, the first argument of our encryption tool is going to be the name of the secret file. So we're going to call the encryption tool using or specifying the secret. Now I note that I missed a new line character. So I'm going to add that here. And also the call was faulty because I did not want to enter this if statement. That means there is a box somewhere. The argument count is probably two because the first argument is the name of the encryption file itself, of the encryption tool itself. So let's compile this again and try to encode it. This looks like it worked. Let's print the directory contents. And now we have a couple of new files. We have the secret file, which we just created. This is the secret text. Then we have a crypt out file, which is the encrypted file. That is the encrypted secret. So this is completely unreadable. And then we have also a key out file, which is also completely unreadable because it's randomly generated data. Okay, so it looks like the 
encoding of our secret has worked. Now we also have to implement a decryption tool because we also want to be able to decrypt that data. So let's open a new file and call it decrypt.c. And I will just list the same input statements as the other one, as the other source file. And of course, we will also provide a main method with the same signature as the other one. Now the decryption tool will expect two input arguments. The first one will be the encrypted secret file and the other one will be the key file. So we have to check for the argument count and it must be equal to three. The first argument will be the name of the executable itself and then the other ones will be the key file and the encrypted file. And if we receive three input arguments, then we can use them to open the files. So we're going to open a file that is going to be the encrypted file. The encrypted file is going to be the first input argument. Then we're going to expect a key file, and that is going to be the second argument. Of course, I have to call f open on these files and open them with read only privileges. And now that the files are opened, we can implement a decryption routine, decrypt, that is going to read in the encrypted file and the key file and write the decrypted file to an output file. So here we will read in the encrypted file, the key file, and an output file. We will call that the decrypted file. We will open the decrypted file here. Also using fopen. And we're going to write that file into decrypt.out and we're going to write it with write permissions. Now after the decryption has succeeded, we can close all the file handles using fclose. And now it's time to implement the decryption routine. So we will First define the method signature. We can do a void method since we're going to write to output streams and not return anything. And we're going to expect the files that we just listed. And in the decryption routine, we have to somehow loop over the encrypted file. So we're going to read the encrypted characters We're going to read it just as in the other tool using f get c, and we're going to get the characters from the encrypted file until the end of file. And since the key file has exactly the same length as the encrypted file, which is the entire point of the one-time pad of this unbreakable encryption method, we don't have to check for end of file in the key file. So now that we have the encrypted characters, we should also retrieve characters from the key file. So let's declare a new variable, key character, and access them using fgetc on the key file. And then we can decrypt the data using a simple XOR, which is reversing what we did in the encryption routine. So we're going to declare a new integer that is called decryption C or decrypted character, and it's going to be equal to the encrypted character XORed by the key character. And all that's left to do is now write that decrypted character to the decrypted file. So we're going to do an F put C. 
And we're going to write the decrypted character to the decrypted file. And that should be it. Now let's try to compile that. I will create a new compile command. The output file is going to be dec for decryption. And we're going to provide the decryption source to be compiled. The compilation worked. So let's try to call something. First of all, if we just call a decryption tool without arguments, it's going to complain. I don't like that it complains about three input arguments because that is a bit misleading, at least on from a user's perspective. So let's change that to two input arguments. Let's compile that again. And let's, let's just call that decryption binary using the expected input arguments. The first expected argument is going to be the encrypted file. The second is the, f the key file, as you see here. So just a quick recap. We have a couple of files in our directory and we would like to decode now the encrypted file using the key file. So this is the decryption command. Let's see if this works. The command has executed. Let me list the directory contents and we have now a new decrypted out file available here. Let's open that file and see if we decrypt it successfully. And this is my secret, please don't expose me. We have decrypted the file successfully. And this is the most secure encryption method and decryption method that you will ever find anywhere. You can use it to encrypt your text files, your video files, your images, your audio, whatever. You just need to provide the right input arguments. And if you like this video, then please show it in the comments and leave a like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.